I'm Adam Harrison, an AFL application engineer. When it comes to deploying fiber optics in high voltage transmission environments greater than 69 kV, options include optical ground wire, tracking resistant all dielectric self-supporting cable, and sky wrap. Each of these cables has an appropriate application, but today we'll be focusing on tracking resistant ADSS. In high voltage environments greater than 69 kV, there are two electrical stress methods of degradation that could potentially damage an ADSS cable, tracking erosion and corona discharge. Tracking is the localized degradation of the outer jacket as a result of dry band arcing due to high electrical space potentials or induced current. In high voltage areas that are arid or areas with high environmental contamination or coastal salinity, tracking can occur close to the structure typically 1 to 3 meters along the span. Once the tracks form from the initial arcing, they become carbonized in the path of least resistance. This can cause the jacket to become brittle and compromise the integrity of the cable. Corona is the audible and visible point discharge of metallic elements when a dense electric field gradient collapses and the air begins to ionize. This, like tracking, occurs close to the structure, typically off the ends of a dead end or suspension assembly. To avoid tracking and corona events, AFL's application engineers can assist in optimizing the cable design and framing on the structure. Our customers receive a complementary e-stress analysis that defines the electrical environment and aids in determining where to frame the cable. Our engineers work with you and your maximum span lengths, NESC loading conditions, and required fiber count to propose an optimal design for your ADSS project. All of AFL's ADSS cable designs are compliant with the IEEE 1222 standard. AFL utilizes multiple methods to avoid or mitigate electrical concerns when designing a fiber optic network in a high voltage environment. For tracking erosion, tracking resistant cable jacket technology can be placed in space potentials up to 25 kV as opposed to the standard jacket limit of 12 kV. AFL recommends utilizing formed wire hardware on our tracking resistant ADSS as well as storing slack cable on the structure instead of typical storage on the ADSS span. To diminish corona, options are available that protect the ends of hardware and prevent points of discharge. With over 25 years of experience deploying ADSS cable in high voltage environments, we look forward to partnering with you on your next project. Contact us today to see how AFL can make your next installation a success.